Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Cassie and today we're going to be doing pumpkins on my eyes. So that'll be fun. I got my hair done and um, it's frizzy as always so don't worry about that. But I got this like orange streaks in it like copper and I think they're cute. Um, but it doesn't matter because I'm about to put it back so we can do the pumpkins. Um, I did already prep my face. I used the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I hydrated or er, moisturized with Olay. Sorry, my cat's over here doing something bad. Hey! So we are prepped and ready to go. Oh, I forgot to turn my lights on. So those are on now. To prep my eye, I'm just going to throw on some concealer and get a nice base going there's like a lot of sunlight coming into my room right now and the cat is freaking out about every little like shadow or reflection and it's becoming a problem <clears throat> okay so now i look like a reverse raccoon i've got these concealed eyeballs and i i'm just gonna draw an outline of a pumpkin and hope for the best for that and then fill it in with orange just kind of like the basic framework i have going on with that to do the orange i'm going to be using the jaclyn hill number two palette because it has these two oranges and then the ColourPop orangey glad um, because it has some good colors in it i do have therapy today so i want her to question my sanity and I think we'll achieve that. Okay, I have my Morphe M217 brush, this angled guy, and I sprayed it with some setting spray. And now I'm going to try to outline my pumpkin. Okay, now it doesn't have to be perfect, especially since we're gonna fill the whole thing in with orange, but I do want the shape to be plump. Maybe we go out just a little bit more. Okay, now that we have the outline down, it's rough and that's fine. We're gonna take a dense brush and pack in orange. I'm using my man first. That's what I use to outline, but I am going to kind of lighten it up a little with feeling myself as well. This is troubling. Okay, now I've got this weird outline over here that I want to round out. Oh, okay. That worked. I think that's a good pumpkin shape. We are getting there. Now I'm going to take feeling myself and kind of tap that in as well. I might spray my brush with some setting spray as well. Just to see if that helps with sticking. Because I want it to be very orange. Oh, that is a beautiful pumpkin color. 
Okay. That is perfect. Ah! <clears throat> okay. 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 Now I want to add a stem, but it has to be green. So let's see. I have the just my look chart. Charmed might be our best bet because it's like brown green and pumpkin stems aren't that pretty. So let's try that one. This is the Morphe M443 and I'm just gonna dip, well let me get a little damp here and we'll dip into Charmed. And we want to make a so it's a great color. I'm having trouble working with it though. Hmm, it's not terrible. I just wish it was like deeper. Okay, I think that's better. That's better. Now I do want like a, we need lines in the pumpkin because right now we're just looking like a, I don't know what we're looking like. We're gonna use the Maybelline New York Hyper Easy Brush Tip Liner in pitch black. So I'm gonna take my black liner and outline the whole pumpkin. Our pumpkin is outlined. Now we need to add lines. So now I'm going to put the lines in. Pray for me. I'm scared. It doesn't look that tragic. Now, in order to, I don't know, make it seem less harsh with the lines, I'm gonna take a darker orange, probably Ya Peel Me from the Orange You Glad palette, and just like add shadowing next to the lines. How does that look? Not that I can tell, but. I hope it looks decent. <laughs> so I went over all of the center lines with a dark orange and I went over the outside line with the same green that I used in the stem purely because the black was really harsh and I pumpkins aren't like, you know, harsh like that. So I'm just trying to make it less crazy. I, I mean, it's a whole pumpkin on my eye, so it's gonna look ridiculous no matter what I do, but I think it looks fun. Should I have done a jack-o'-lantern instead? The other eye's gonna be a jack-o'-lantern. It's gonna be like a before and after. Is that stupid? Only a little. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. The outside I did lined with Yapeel Me instead of 
with the inside orange because I thought that the outline being darker would make more sense instead of doing it with just pitch black which I'm still gonna do but like I don't know I'm trying to heart less make the black less harsh on my orange widow pumpkin. You know what I love about pumpkins is that the shape is kind of just like maybe it's a pumpkin because pumpkins don't just have one shape. They are very shapely sometimes. I could put a gourd on my face. I mean a pumpkin. Pumpkin's a gourd. Pumpkin's a gourd. But I could put like a gourd gourd. You know? Not a pumpkin gourd. A gourd. Right? Okay, now it is time to do the jack-o'-lantern part. And I'm afraid of messing it up. Ooh. All right. Now I'm going to put a triangle and a triangle and another triangle. That's a triangle. And then I need another one. Oh, that's really hard to see. I believe in myself. I'm gonna be down here, hold on. This is a pumpkin that a child carved. And that's all right. I kinda need it to dry before I close my, or open my lid. Okay. All right, there's really no room for the mouth. Like there's a little bit of room, but not enough. So we've got to, maybe I'll do half the mouth. Maybe on the eyelash line, I'll do like just the top portion. Okay, hold on. I want you guys to be able to see it, but it's really hard. I was the wrong eye to do the cool stuff on. Well, that looks stupid. Okay. All right, the little tooth. <coughs> this looks pretty okay. Okay. That is a pumpkin. That's a jack-o'-lantern and that's a pumpkin. And I look crazy. My cat is on top of the back of a chair, staring at me over my makeup desk. And she looks crazy. Wilson from Home Improvement, just like the <laughs> uh, okay this is better than I could have imagined let me add a couple of lines because it's still pumpkin and I'll be right back kind of jacked it up over here but I'm just gonna okay that is two pumpkins on my face I did it. Oh, they're so cute. I'm gonna finish the rest of my face and then I will be right back to show you guys the final look. I'm gonna keep my eyes closed for this outro because, you know, I want you guys to keep looking at my pumpkins. But um, don't forget to like and subscribe because it's a nice thing to do. And in the next one, I will be a scarecrow. I pinky promise. I keep forgetting and um, I'm gonna do it. Next one is Scarecrow. Um, and thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.